And I'm like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So in my mind, I could always point to something else. Mm. You know, so I didn't deal with it. But then once you get my next gig was the Breakfast Club. Four or five years later, you richer than you ever been. You got more opportunities than you ever had, but you're still having the panic attacks. Mm. You're still having anxiety. And you're like, okay, where is this coming from? And then finally my wife was like, yo, take your ass to therapy. Just go see what's up. Instead of flirting with the idea and talking to other people about therapy, go. And that's what I did. And then, you know, when you start going to therapy, you start unpacking all kind of shit. Yeah. You start dealing with trauma from things that happened to you when you were young, things that you thought you dealt with that you hadn't. You know, you start focusing on your PTSD from things that happened to you when you was young. And then you start thinking about, you know, the pain and the hurt that you still feel from certain situations. And you don't realize you have been redistributing that pain to other people for so long. That's why you didn't have no empathy for nobody else because you really was hurting. Mm. And you've been hurting so long that you numb. If you want to learn more about how you can maximize the impact of taking care of yourself and your loved ones, linked are some powerful tips from the experts available to you on Dolores. And follow the links in our bios to hear more journeys applicable to your life today, updates on current events, resources, and thought pieces on health and wellness in ethnic America. So stay safe, stay well, and make sure you always prioritize your health and wellness.